Right, today I'd just like to show you a new tool that I've um, come across and made up for myself. Um, it's a tool that I didn't know existed until about a year ago. I saw one online. Um, it's a specialist turning tool called a vertical shear tool. And I say it's a specialist turning tool because it's specifically designed for getting good finishes on work. So it's a finishing turning tool. And by turning with it, you can get really excellent finishes on um, difficult materials like a mild steel, certain grades of aluminium. You can also turn copper with it. The, the copper armatures on motors, you can get a mirror finish on those. It does brilliant finishes on um, nylon and uh, various other plastics. And it is dead easy to make up. And that's because there's only two angles to grind on the tool. Um, this is a piece of 3 8 inch square um, HSS. And all you need on that is an angle uh, going the opposite way to a normal turning tool. And an angle on the front here. And I've done mine at 18 degrees. Um, you can experiment with the various different angles. I know someone on um, line someone at 15 degrees. I just done mine on the side of the wheel at 18 degrees. And then 7 degrees angle on the front here. This um, cutting edge here, or corner, is a sharp corner. And that's the cutting edge. And that one um, is vertical, and that's how it gets its name, the Vertical Shear Tool. I've done a mock-up of the tool here in wood and coloured it yellow on this angle here. Um, like I say, mine's 18 degrees on that angle. And then on the front here, it's about 7 degrees. There's no specific angle. You can actually experiment, like I say, with the angles and see how you get on. And I found it very interesting um, testing this tool out with the various different angles and that until I got it right. This is a piece of aluminium that I've turned with it and the finish is like a mirror finish. You can't feel any lines at all on that. And that's a straight cut all the way down. No polishing whatsoever. So it's a brilliant tool for that. And it works in a different way um, to a normal turning tool. A normal turning tool would have the angle the opposite way for clearance and you'd have the tool centre height on the top here. Well this tool doesn't um, have that centre height there because it only cuts on the uh, front leading edge here or the corner. This piece of bar here, um, just imagine that in the lathe, this would come up and touch on the diameter um, anywhere on that um, corner and move along and actually shear that metal off or um, plastic in this instance and give an excellent finish. Another great thing about this tool is that uh, when the edge dulls or it bluntens a bit you can just alter the height up and down to get a new edge. And when you've completely worn that edge out, all you have to do is put it onto the grinding wheel or a belt sander and grind back that angle a little bit for a new corner edge. So now I'll go out into the workshop and show you the vertical shear tool in operation on the lathe. So this is the setup. I've set it so that the tool, middle of the tool cutting edge here will touch on the diameter. This is a piece of mild steel which is um, very hard to get a good finish on with whatever tools you use. And um, you can hear that, that's quite a liney rough finish on that one. So now I'll bring the tool in to touch this diameter and then take um, a thou or two off. A 
and you can see there the very fine swarf that the um, tool takes off. It's leaving an excellent finish. I'll just leave it there. And you can see straight away the finish on that's perfect. It doesn't sound with the nail at all, as does the other half. And I think that's absolutely incredible for that mild steel. This is the swarf that comes off, um, very fine hair-like swarf. Like I say, you only take one or two thou. I took um, two thou overall. And I'm really pleased with that finish. So now I have a piece of aluminium up and I'm just showing the end face there to show you the position of the tool on the diameter there. You can see that it's not cutting on the top edge, it's cutting on the front corner of that um, tool. And that's an excellent finish. So I'm really pleased with the performance of the vertical shear tool. It does some excellent finishes. And it's a great tool to have in the workshop. I'm really pleased that I found out about it. And I've really enjoyed um, experimenting with the tool.